Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Charuda and welcome back to my channel MBH Capsule Talks. So in my last video, there were a few queries regarding uh, the best college that offer PhD in public health. So I would say that it's always best to choose a government college such as Jipmer, AIMS, PGMER and Sri Chitra Institute of Medical Sciences. There are a few more which you can go check on. And also you have to keep this in mind that as a PhD uh, in you know, with a background in public health, it's always better to choose a college that purely offers uh, public health. So I would say that uh, TIS or Sri Chitra will be a better option. There will be other colleges as well. Another important thing is uh, in which department that you are going to do your PhD. So uh, in some uh, universities, they even with a background in MPH, they offer PhD in the other departments such as psychiatry or oncology. So as a beginner, we will not know which department uh, it is. Since we are qualified to enter to those departments, we will be doing that. So we have to make this clear at the end of the program which will be our uh, PhD in. So if they are ready to give us in PhD in public health then it's fine. If it's not it will be a problem in, in the future. So it's always better to do a PhD in the uh, same department. Um, such as in Department of Public Health. So you can go to the websites of each of these uh, universities that you are interested in and check for the entrance, uh, call for the entrance exam or the walk-in interview. So in most colleges, there will be two cycles of entrance exam. So for uh, the first would be for the um, UGC net chair of uh, qualified people, for which there won't be an entrance exam, there will be only a walk-in interview. So you will be uh, asked about a few questions regarding your background, uh, your previous uh, research works, your area of interest and then you will be selected uh, to their institution and you will be allotted a guide or else you will have to go find your guide based on your area of interest. The second cycle will be for all those uh, other people, uh, for them there will be an institute entrance exam and they will be offered an institute scholarship which will be comparatively lesser than the UGC net JRF people, mostly. So um, it is always better to clear your UGC net and then go for a PhD program. Or else you can even uh, clear ICMR entrance uh, and also you can go for the uh, ICMR scholarship and do the PhD. So in the second uh, entrance exam, they will uh, those who have cleared for the entrance, then they will be selected for the uh, interview and finally they will be selected for the PhD program. The another important thing is after getting into the PhD program, you have to choose your guide. So uh, based on your area of interest, you have to find your guide and it's also important to have a good rapport with your guide. So you take your time to know about this person before jumping into your PhD program. You can talk to the seniors uh, uh, who have been already been guided guided by this person, and then get your get their feedbacks and uh, know about this person, and then uh, join in your PhD program. So that's all for today. Uh, so uh, those who have already joined for your PhD program, you can. Uh, uh, write your uh, opinions about your universities and uh, the opportunities and uh, whatever feedback you, ha you have to uh, give to other people and uh, also all the best for those who are still trying for that and congrats for all those who have cleared and uh, you know, looking for a good college all the very best. So thanks for watching my video and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Please like, share and comment below and see you with another video. Till then, bye bye.